So that's the build finished. Um, so it's all painted up, nice and tidy. Got rid of all those wires, put them in the enclosure box, um, put a mini tripod ball head on it, and underneath screwed in with a quarter 20 bolt. Um, the motor is powered with a 9 volt battery um, because you can't power it from the Pi, it requires too much current. So I've just put a 9 volt battery, which is what goes through motor power on the A4988 chip. And there's the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, and it's just connected to a normal, normal cheap old tripod. I got this one, I think about £5. Uh, and there's the stepper motor and going through the curved bolt. And I've just put these two white markers on the gears so I can see that it's rotating at 1 RPM. And lastly what I also did on the enclosure box with all the uh, wiring and connectors and things is I've just put a, a little push switch. Um, because the Raspberry Pi works on an operating system, um, it needs to boot up and shut down. So once I've finished, I just press that and I'll know that it is, is shut down because the gears will stop turning and that way I know it's safe to remove the power from the Pi then. Uh, I've also put in a little LED um, that lights up every time one complete revolution is done. So when I'm out in the field taking pictures, um, I can tell from either the white stripe on the gear or the LED flashing that one minute has elapsed and I'll be able to also confirm this on my camera anyway but it's just another visual aid so as I know how long I've been shooting. So I'm now going to connect this up um, to a battery uh, and because I know the program works because I've done some testing um, but I want to make sure that it behaves itself just standalone like this connected to a battery with my camera on top. So that's connected up now to a standard mobile phone charger battery. And what should be happening is the Pi should be booting up and once it's finished its boot up sequence those gears should start to turn. Um, and there they go, they're off. How I've made that do that is you just edit a line in command in um, rc.local um, to just run the Python script on boot up. <coughs> so as you can see the gears are turning nicely now and that LED will light once it's done one complete revolution so we shall just watch that for a moment so all I've done here is written a basic Python script to just send instructions to the A4988 driver board that you can get. I've got mine off eBay, I think it was £3.60 something. Um, and you just wire, there's, there's lots of information on the internet about how to wire this. Um, but it's very, very simple. You just need a step signal and a direction signal, and you connect that to your stepper motor. Mine is an old NEMA 17 stepper motor that I got off an old printer. Um, if you wanted to buy one brand new, I think they're about. £10 but you can get them off most printers, uh, any stepper motor will do really. Mine happens to be a bipolar but you can make use of any. Um, the main thing is you want to do micro stepping so you don't have any jerky movements. Um, you may notice the LED hasn't lit when it, the two lines matched up, that's because we started the cycle when it had already been a bit further round but it should be lighting up anytime soon if the phone picks it up. Um, once it's done one revolution, that LED will light. So that should be that. So, and there it is, just lit up now. So that tells me that it's gone round once in a minute and that it's all working. So I should be able to press this shutdown switch now. And what seems to happen is I have to press it for quite a while and then the gears have stopped turning um, and just give it another 10 seconds or so, let the pie completely shut down 
and what I'll do is I'll just look for a light on the pie, make sure all lights have gone off, and that should be it. Okay.